To select a group of internals, take the Select Internals tool, then click and drag a window over the internals you want to group. If you wish to move the selected group of internals, right mouse click and choose Move Internal. Then type in the amount you want to move. And if you wish to select all the internals for the entire piece, just click and drag a window over the entire piece and all internals, meaning internal contours, drill holes, uh, circles, will be selected, excluding notches. Notches will not be selected. And then if you press delete, all internals will be deleted from the piece. To copy one internal or a group of internals from one piece to another, First, select the internals as a group with the Select Internals tool. Then, click the Copy Internals tool. After you click the tool, select a reference point. This will be the position that will copy and then mark your reference point on the piece that you want to paste it to. As soon as you bring it, click and all the internals will be copied from one piece to another. Now, if you're still in the tool and you just want to make a copy of one internal, select that internal, move your mouse, and click to paste it. To add a notch on a segment, begin by selecting the Notch tool, then clicking on the segment where you want to add the notch. Now, the Create Notch dialog will appear, and here you can choose the type of notch. And you notice if I change, for example, from a T-notch to a V-notch, my depth and width settings automatically change from my default library. Now I can specify the distance along the segment either proportionally from the previous point or from the next point. This is a graded pattern and medium is the base size. So if I want to place a notch exactly three and a half inches from the previous point, you double click in the field where it says from previous type in your value and if you want that same distance for every size make sure the auto grade is checked it is by default so when I press OK I've added a notch exactly three and a half inches from the previous point for every size when adding a notch to a corner for your seam line Click on the corner and in the corner section you have three options. You can adjust it to align to the previous line or align to the next line. When I click OK you will see that my notch now points to the next line. If I go back into the edit notch dialog and switch to the previous line, you see the angle is automatically aligned to the previous line. By default, every time we add a notch, a grading point is added at the base. Now if you select the grading point and press the delete key, you have the option to reset the notch to the previous point. If you select no, both the notch and the point will delete. So answer yes, you notice now I just have a notch on my segment. Now if we go double click on the notch attributes, we can reset this. If you want this to be three and a half or whatever value we type, let's say we want three inches for every size. When I press the apply button, you can see now for every size. By default, every time we add a notch, a grading point is added at the base. Now if you select the grading point and press the delete key, you have the option to reset the notch to the previous point. If you select no, both the notch and the point will delete. So answer yes, you notice now I just have a notch on my segment. Now if we go double click on the notch attributes, we can reset this if you want this to be three and a half or whatever value we type. Let's say we want three inches for every size. When I press the apply button, you can see now for every size, if I click out here and press F4, my notch is three inches from the previous point for every size in my graded nest. To manually grade a notch along a segment, double click on the notch and then uncheck auto regrade and for your smallest size, type the value that it should be from the previous point, let's say. So let's say I did two inches. And then on the next size, I want an increment of a quarter inch. So I'll type in 2.25. So now if I want to apply that same increment to all sizes, what I simply do is highlight the two sizes by clicking and dragging, then double right mouse click. And notice the 
quarter inch increment got applied now to every size. So then press the apply button and then click OK. To manually change the angle of the notch, double click on the notch and there's a button here called angle manual by mouse. If you click that button and hold down the left mouse you can change the direction of the angle and when you let go you notice the notch moved at that angle. Now if you like to keep that notch locked onto the grading point on the seam line, then you have an option over here, notch on seam. Just put a check mark on grading point, press apply, and you see now the notch is locked onto that grading point. So here I can change the angle and it stays fixed to that point. If you uncheck this and press apply, then the notch will just follow that angle. To add a button or a drill hole on the pattern, click the button tool and then click on a point to offset the distance from. So from my high point shoulder, I'm going to go negative 7 inches in the x direction and then down, which will be negative 1 inch in the y direction. When I click OK, you see the red x mark indicating where the button hole will be placed. The mode will be drill because I want a drill hole command and then I click create and my buttonhole is added. To add buttons evenly along a distance select the button on distance tool and click on the point where the first button will be offset. So first I'm going to offset the first button a half inch down and inside a half inch my last button will be placed three inches up from the selected point and a half inch inside. By check marking use first and use last you can see the first and last button points and then define the number of buttons you would like in between. If I type in four that will give me a total of six buttons. The mode is going to be drill the diameter is a quarter inch, click OK, and the buttons have been divided up evenly along that distance.